here's something a little bit different. Cell phone. So I normally use a uh, an old like budget Huawei smartphone for like filming my time lapses and stuff. I'll just set it up in my camera rig, point it at the Game Boy, and then have something else up as a clock or something, you know, maybe a watch. And um, I'll use that to run time lapses. Well, that thing is a pain in the butt to use because it is an old and slow phone. Also, the app that I'm using for time lapses only supports recording to internal storage, which I could probably resolve by using a different app, but I have this phone. I'd rather use this phone. This is a significantly better phone. That old phone I was using is a Huawei Honor 5X. This is a Sony Xperia XZ1 Compact. Uh, both of those phones were my old smartphones at the time I bought the Honor 5X when Huawei wasn't banned in the US. This was at least five years ago. Um, I used that for a while. It was alright. And then I finally decided to upgrade to something way better. Bought the Sony. Oh, I have a love-hate relationship with this phone. On paper, this was one of the best phones at the time. Um, granted, I bought it used a few years after it had come out because I don't I don't make the kind of money to just buy a flagship phone you know, the day they launch. But anyway, I have such a love-hate relationship with this phone. The stock software on this thing is garbage. Sony is garbage. Uh, to unlock this thing, you lose all of the DRM keys permanently, and the DRM keys are required to even use the camera. Now, clearly, I have a uh, workaround because I have a working camera, um, but there, there was a workaround, and that that whole experience just soured me off Sony phones forever. But now that I'm not using it as my actual phone, it is still nice to have like a device for like doing time lapses and stuff, especially since it has a working camera. And uh, I do have a custom ROM installed on this thing. Ooh, gonna have to blur that out. Whoopsie doodle. But, um, you know, it is running Android 11 now, which makes sense. This is a more than capable phone. Um, it was a Snapdragon 835? I don't know. It was one of the top of the line Snapdragons uh, when, when, when I got this, even. Um, but anyway, it has suffered its fair share of scratches and bruises over the years. Uh, I don't know if I can show this off on camera. I don't know how well it's going to come out, but there is a pretty significant discoloration in the screen right there you can see. Uh, like this thing got hit and it got hit hard. It is much more noticeable in person and on higher brightnesses. If I turn it down here I can't even see it anymore. but still enough to annoy me. Uh, but the real problem with this phone has always been the back. Um, look at that nonsense. I genuinely don't understand how this happened. It's not a glass phone. This is plastic and it's just totally shattered. Anyway, when I bought this phone, it was, uh, I think it was like 300 bucks. And I spec'd out parts because I wanted to repair it. Just the rear cover alone was $400. So I just slapped a vinyl wrap on this thing and called it a day. <laughs> but anyway, thanks to this phone now being like three or four years old, I guess. Um, maybe even older, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, parts for it is stupid cheap. All the cell phone repair shops dumped all their old stock because no one is using these things anymore, so no one's repairing them. And I bought a pile of parts. But we are going to pop in a new screen and a new rear cover that is not all cracked. And, hey, Malko, why are you doing this? Why are you even bothering? It's not even a good phone. Well, shut up. I like it. It's still a technically good phone, even if I'm not using it as an actual phone. And... You know me, I can't leave well enough alone. Alright. 
I think most of that is out of here. I have taken a look at a couple tear downs of this thing, and it looks like by far the most difficult part is getting the screen off. But once the screen's off, it looks pretty straightforward, if not extremely tedious to actually get this thing swapped over. But I don't know, bear with me. I didn't really want to replace the screen, but I figured I wouldn't be able to get this out without damaging it. I, I'm not very experienced when it comes to phone repairs, and I just, I don't know, these things aren't ma meant to be taken apart, and just because some people can take them apart doesn't mean I'm one of those people. But I figure, you know, it's cheap enough phone at this point to get practice on that sort of thing, because I, I do like working on this sort of stuff. So anyway, enough rambling. We're almost six minutes in, and I haven't even gotten to the... Uh, the meat of this video. Anyway, we're gonna start at the top because that's what the video I watched did and we're probably gonna end up just literally ripping this thing apart because I don't expect there to be very much structural rigidity once the screen's off. Uh, and also, you know, if I break the screen, why do I need to be gentle with it? The screen is already broken. But. Just gonna hit it. My hot air is set to 100 degrees Celsius. And I'm just going back and forth, giving it a nice, good amount of heat. Oh, this thing's been dropped so many freaking times. It's literally missing chunks of material. It wasn't in great shape when I got it, and I did not take good care of it. I heard Sony is not doing that uh, camera nonsense these days anymore if you want to unlock your phone. But the fact that they were doing it at all in the first place is just ridiculous. I'm fully on board with the uh, disabling certain security features when you unlock the bootloader of your phone. But, that wasn't hot enough. There should be a way to restore that. That shouldn't be permanent. If I relock my bootloader, I should be able to reflash it through uh, Sony's software, for instance, and restore it to stock. I shouldn't just permanently not be able to take pictures with the thing. That's ridiculous. One of the appeals of this phone in particular too. Um, I'd always heard that Sony phones had excellent cameras and that their Xperia XZ1 series was no exception. Uh, but it turns out the series isn't, the compact is. <laughs> so this thing does not have a great camera. I mean, it was still way better than what I was using before, which was is the Huawei, but Better doesn't mean good. This has a good camera. I think I might need a sharp tool for this. Ah, there we go. I normally use these uh, like cheap generic Chinese spudgers because they're really cheap. Um, but I do have some of the actual iFixit ones that these are intending to be. Um, the iFixit ones are much stiffer, which I want for this. I normally don't care about stiffness. Rather, it normally doesn't make a difference. I'm 
sure some cell phone repair person is out there watching this going, oh my god, what are you doing? But again, I don't really care for this screen. It's, it's getting replaced regardless of whether I break it or not. So it'd be nice to save it. But I'm realistically never going to use it again. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, once I get the screen off, I'm probably going to end up fast forwarding through a lot of this because there are a lot of screws. That was a lot easier than I expected it to be. All right, now out of curiosity, I, I gotta know. Ha! <laughs> Still fine. Go figure. I'm impressed and disappointed at the same time. Because I probably wouldn't have purchased a screen if I had known I can get this off without ruining it. But what do you know? All right, so on most phones, you want to disconnect the battery first but this isn't most phones. I have no idea how that's supposed to come off, but the video I was watching, they just pried it off with tweez with a spudger. And that seemed to work for them, so... That is not how that's supposed to come off. I bet, I bet tweezers would be of assistance here. No, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I broke that clip, but I got it off. And I don't think we need that clip. So that goes aside. And now I gotta take out about 30 screws.
Ooh, I think that's the battery connector. That would have been smart to take off first. It's too late now. Hopefully I didn't ruin anything. Um, I don't know if you don't do that first on like an iPhone, you gotta, you'll end up, oh dear. You'll end up ruining the, um, whatchamacallit. the screen. The backlight. How do we... Alright, whatever. I guess that's staying where it is for now. All right, there is the main smartphone module. That is indeed the battery connector. We will leave that disconnected until it's basically fully reassembled. I was having trouble because I didn't see the uh, USB-C connector. It was under one, another one of those annoying brackets. I still don't know how you're supposed to take those off, but I just pried it off and it came off and went somewhere, but whatever. There it is, pretty good. Battery looks to be physically in good condition. It's not bloating or anything. Uh, and the battery life on the phone itself is still about as good as we can expect. So I'm not gonna replace it. Uh, I figured I didn't purchase one in advance because I figured it was probably fine since there wasn't any noticeable bulging on the outside and since it was still uh, getting pretty decent battery life. Um, so I'm glad I didn't buy another one, but that aside. And now we are left with the bare phone. So now I need to get all of this nonsense transferred over to the new back. is right here and there is a lot of stuff to move over.
And interestingly, this does actually look like a brand new back, not a uh, used. It's got stickers over it though. I wonder if these were for customs purposes. Yeah, that's probably what that was. Ha, oh, Dokomo! That explains it. This is a spare part for a slightly different model phone. Um, hopefully it doesn't make a difference because I don't have the dual SIM version. Uh, I see the first problem already. My phone doesn't... Oh, that's a removable bracket. I didn't even realize. I mean, I guess it makes sense, because that's... Actually, I don't, I don't know what that is. whole things come up. With how modular this thing is, there's no way the headphone jack doesn't just come out. Despite my earlier assertions that these things are not meant to be taken apart, um, I think that's incorrect. They are not not designed to be taken apart. They're just not designed to be taken apart by the end user. I think I may have broken the headphone jack. No idea how that comes out. And that is not one of the parts I purchased. that is, but I hope it's supposed to come out. Pretty sure this is just a bracket? Oh, that's for the uh, noise-canceling microphone. I'm going to want to fix that.
I'm gonna look this up before I break it. Okay, I was skipping a step and hopefully I didn't break it, but in my defense it's not very obvious. You're supposed to rip this up and then pry this out. And then it just comes out. Should be good. It looks a little worse for wear, but I think it'll be fine. Now we need this whole bracket. And we're good to start transferring over parts on the left. Still got to do parts on the right, though. Let's clean this up. not to cross thread these. All right, I don't have replacement adhesives for that, I don't think. I ordered some, I ended up with extra. I had no idea my screen was coming with one. It was only extra couple dollars to order this stuff. And I figured I'd rather just have it I don't have to worry about it. That is not the part I need. I don't think this is either. Yeah, I didn't know my, my new back was coming with a back lens, so I ordered one of those. I don't even know what that is. I think that's the fingerprint reader. And there's some adhesive, but that looks to be adhesive for the fingerprint reader. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yep, yep.
This isn't the right stuff, but it's close. I don't know if I have the right stuff. This isn't the right stuff either, but it's a lot closer in that it's adhesive on both sides. Alright, so I think I can just cut out a corner, glue that on, and by glue I mean just paste it. And I don't know where my scissors are at the moment. So I'm just going to do it with uh, flush cutters. That should be fine. I don't know what specific purpose this serves, and since I'm probably never even going to talk on this thing again as a phone, I sincerely doubt it serves any purpose, but here we are. Might as well do it right, I guess. Or close enough. Probably would have been easier to just do this in two separate pieces, or to just skip it and call it good. Yeah, I'm going to start over. even let's try this
actually. I cut that way too thick. Whatever. This is why I have tons of this stuff. I'm going to do three sides instead of four, but I'm thinking it should be good enough. This would definitely affect the water resistance if this were a water resistant phone, and I genuinely have no idea if this is. I don't intend to test it either. Boom. I don't know, it might be water resistant based off the plugs around these ports. It's a huge screw. All right, I 
actually, before going any further, I should put that in. I'm told it is very difficult to remove without damage. And, oh yeah, I believe that. So I bought another one. This is the Near Field Communication Antenna, I believe. And it is 100% not necessary unless you like tap your phone on things and get data that way. Which I don't, but this is one of those things that you don't put it in and you want it, you're not going to be able to put it in. Alright, so it doesn't matter too much where this goes as long as that can connect there. That's fine. You can see a little bit how that works. It's just a coil of copper wrapped around. Could probably make one pretty easily. Especially if you have that template to work off of, the OEM one. So that'll go up there. That's the bracket for that. And for that. That does not appear to be the correct part. Oh wait, it is. There's just a, another part that goes to that. why that's stuck down with adhesives, but... There you go. gross. Oh, interesting. That's what that is.
We're in the home run. Home stretch, rather. What do you say? Should we see if it works before going any further? I'm going to jam the shielding on. Nope. If I jam the shielding on, I lose the ability to control the battery, so let's try this first, I guess. Panda look actually ain't too bad. I was debating whether or not I wanted to keep the silver buttons, but they're just. This thing has so much wear on it, man. It was. It was difficult. Hey! How do I. How do I flip it? Is working. Is all working. Uh, it's on Wi Fi. Let's turn on Bluetooth. I mean, not that I expect it to find anything, but I live in an apartment. They're probably. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, flashlight's fine. I don't really know how to test the NFC, but screw it. I think we're good. Let's power it off. Let's jam this shielding down. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, pull that off again. Yeah. I suppose I can put new thermal paste on this. This isn't something that you regularly need to do, but I guess it's more that you can't really do it. Well, oh, I bent it. Could just be all thermal pad under here. Hmm. If that's the case, I'm wasting my time.
proceed. Everything's too close. I just peel it off and hope for the best. Risk ruining my fine point tweezers. Ah, I can't get this under there. Oh, well, there you go. I don't know what this is, but it's not normal thermal paste. Probably would have been in my best interest to not do this. Seems almost like silicone. Right side cleaning is easy, I guess. It also makes sense that it's not thermal paste because this is a uh, encapsulated chip. It's not a bare die. Let's see, what chip even is this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm having a hard time reading it. That's something you can do with normal thermal paste. Well, I guess this has to be the CPU then, because that one's labeled SK Hynix. So that must be the CPU. This is going to be the um, ROM, I guess. I imagine there'd be more than one package for RAM, but hell if I know. Whatever. That's why I'm not a phone tech. Go grab some thermal paste. I'm gonna use the stuff that came with my water block because I wanna get this stuff out of here. On account of it being ridiculously messy. Perfect amount. Should have cleaned this up first. But oh my god, it's so difficult to clean up. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be messy to take apart if I have to do that anytime soon. Hopefully not.
Good thermal paste, just messier than frig. Whatever EK ships with their blocks. Yeah, I don't know. I'm as lost as you are, or maybe more lost. That was the wrong screw, wasn't it? There's supposed to be two down here. This. It's supposed to go there. Oh wait, no. I had that right. Basically there. I don't know how this goes though. Oh, I had it right. Goes like that.
was concerned I got that misaligned. But once again, I think I got lucky. There we go. It's all done. No, I'm kidding. There are some steps that I definitely shouldn't have skipped, but I did. Like transferring this stuff over. Uh, looks like should be pretty quick and easy. Let us double check that this thing works first. I'd hate to stick a screen down that doesn't even work, but looks good so far. The wallpaper doesn't look so great with this, with this color. Look better on the other one. I don't know. Seems good. Good enough for me, I think. Cool, cool. So now I need, I think I just need that. How's that come off? Do I even need that? I don't know if I need that. I need that. I'm not even gonna bother taking that off. I have another one. Oh no, I thought I had another one. I don't think I have another one. I have this. This doesn't help me though. Cool. <laughs> uh, Yeah, so I guess I'm transferring everything over. Which is a bit of a disappointment because I don't think I have adhesive for this either. Wait, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. If I didn't need one before, I definitely need one now. Hmm. All right, well, let me, let me double check again because I had a bag full of, I know I had like the speaker grill and shit. All right, I found that, but that's not gonna help me. Nothing will. I hope I didn't ruin this just now. I probably did, but it is what it is. I'll test it before throwing everything together. It kind of sucks to run into a problem this late in the game, but I suppose at the same time, at least it's somewhat easier to fix when it's this late in the game.
here. What the hell is this? Just a bracket? That's so bizarre. That's exactly what that is. That just goes there. I don't understand. Alright, well. Sony obviously put that there for a reason. So, I guess let's keep it. I'm just going to keep this with the phone, so I'm trying to align it up on the screen. Oh, I messed it up. Oh. Hey, that looks like the part I just ripped out. Minus the bracket, because of course. Supposed to be like a little cushion or something up there, but fuck, I don't know. What's this for? Oh, I think that's for that. Okay. Well, I don't know. I guess good enough. Hope it didn't ruin the speaker. Not sure why that wouldn't be pre applied, but alright. Oh no. I misaligned it. Get away with it? No, it's fucked. I have fucked up everything with this speaker.
Oh, maybe I can get away with it. Hang on. Let me get this off my tweezers. Come on, stop sticking to the tweezers. And I fucked it up at the last minute again. Okay, well, good enough. Um, which way does this go? It goes like that. Better idea. Let's put that right there. Almost there. Okay, now I need grill on the bottom, which I think they sent me to. Good enough. And I think that's it. Alright, that doesn't work. It's way too much wiggle room. That's right. I mean, it fits, so it's probably right, but. I added my seal of approval. Instead of replacing this bracket, but I will put this bracket on because I found it. nothing. I am going to set the top in there so I can test the speaker. Hey, look at that. They pulled a sneaky on me there too. There's a Sony logo. Let's see what embarrassing page I had open. Oh. Team win. That was not embarrassing at all. Like YouTube. 
I would like Mako. Really, that's what shows up. No sound. I think that speaker is done, though. I have no sound. Well, that's disappointing, especially since I have the screen partially stuck down. Uh, I guess I will just keep this propped and order a new speaker. Um, we're super close, though. It's kind of a shame. But it is what it is. Let me see if it's at least charging properly, and it is. That's good. It is not quick charging. But it might not support this charger. I don't remember trying. Oh, there it goes. Now it's quick charging. Well, shoot. I suppose I can still finish putting it back together. What, the uh, SIM card? True. out of there hopefully without breaking it oh there we go Noise, noise, noise. All right, let's see. One more thing. I want to test the fingerprint. Oh, I don't want pattern. I want pin. Use a hyper secure password. It seems to be working. It's letting me enroll. Hey! How about that? I didn't even think the new fingerprint sensor would work. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I guess I gotta replace that. Until next time. I am not going to do a follow-up video on that. That's this is this is done and working perfectly fine. Uh except the volume buttons kind of suck. They work. But they kind of suck. I don't know how to fix that. Oh, let's see if the camera button works. 
camera button does not appear to work, but I don't know if it ever worked. All right, it is now the future, and uh, I have left this in this Tupperware bin with some wax paper jammed in there this whole time. Hopefully, I haven't had any issues with that. Uh, I think I might need a little bit of heat to get this remaining bit of screen off, but got parts. And of course, I ordered two because if I ordered one, I'd break the first one. No, but really, I, I have some I have some ideas. use these uh, cell phone speakers for. I'd rather not have to reuse the or use the other adhesive. But it's there if I need it. Is that a sticky? That is a sticky. Well, that makes way more sense. Let's stick that to... This side. No. That wasn't a sticky. I thought it was. Adhesive got all stretched out. I don't really know how to deal with that. And the whole reason <laughs> I was replacing that, because that's not supposed to come apart. Hmm. I forgot my pin. Never mind. It was that hyper secure one that I always set for things that are going to be on camera. Hey, how convenient. Hey, that works too. Did work. There it goes. The problem appears to be the alignment, but we'll get that aligned.
There we go. By the time I got it in full screen, it's over. But, ta-da! It's done. It's finally done. It was sitting in that box for, I don't know how long it's been, but I'm sure I pulled down the date at the beginning of the video. It's September 30th now. And, uh, <laughs> just because we were waiting on that speaker. But, I'm pleased with that. This is heaps better than it was. I am actually kind of disappointed it has the text. I, I think I would have liked it without the text, just plain black, but whatever. Good enough. Um, yeah, I'm super pleased with this, um, except that I just noticed an issue that I'm kind of not happy with. There's some bright spots down there. And I'm not sure if that was from just now or if there if it was already like that, but there's not a whole lot I can do about the oh, and now they're gone. Well, one of them's gone. Hmm. I don't know. I'll let it sit. Maybe it'll work itself out. Either way, it's still way better than it was before. I'd prefer the bright spot down there than right there. Uh, the old screen had um, some damaged pixels in this area. I don't know if it was damage or what it was, but it was like kind of pink, depending on what was being displayed when it shouldn't have been pink, but whatever. This is still better. I'm still pleased with how it came out. And uh, interestingly enough, I actually did this project to uh, prepare to do this, and then I ended up finishing this before I even finished this. But. Hey, I still think it was good practice for ripping screens off of things, and now I have a laminated switch too, so that's nice. But um, yeah, it's looking pretty good, and I think that's all I've got. I will uh, catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching. I know it's not quite my usual content, but still fun content.